Talking to um, an economist from The Economist just last week and uh, talking about real estate and being pretty bearish on the pricing, and he was saying compared with corporate bonds, it's fantastic. There's still a long way to go in real estate. So you could paint a picture, I think sure. as Phil is saying, where it, 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 there could be further compression to a sort of a new reality of, of pricing for, for across all asset classes and, and real estate. But um, I think in the UK, we've seen since 1970, we're in the f fifth, fifth or sixth cycle. And these, 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 this pricing doesn't stay at these low levels. I think one of the challenges for real estate is, is the return you need to generate to cover the cost. There's obsolescence, there's, um, the, the, there's issues in running real estate that you need to have a certain level of return or income return to, to, to support the investments in the asset class. And so that, that's why I worry when income returns get below historic levels, um, because that's a, a big warning signal. So you could paint it, but I think this is also a, a problem in these sort of stages of the cycle. There's always a justification for uh, the, the new normal, the new paradigm, this is why, why it is. And I, I do think, and I don't say it because I'm, I'm here, but looking, uh, people have asked me who are the most uh, astute investors, and I think you can pick out one or two globally investors, but as a group, um, the way investment is carried out in Germany is very objective. It's, it's you, you invest at the right times and you don't. So uh, in, the, in the early 90s or in 2000, you were very successful in 2009, 10, 11. Those were the times to invest. Whereas a lot of other investors are very pro-cyclical. So to me, a, a very in, uh, question then is, how do you manage that? When your, your clients are saying, invest, 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 and you're saying, Now's not the right time to put huge amounts in. We've got to be. How do you how do you manage that uh, that, that sort of tension? Maybe two things before I try to answer that. I think two things that you need to look at at the moment. Again, if 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 um, if you're going to Germany and your data shows that it's an income return driven um, nation, um, we are very maybe we're not sophisticated enough on the valuation side, uh, where we just simply don't get the hang of it. Maybe our regulated valuation system kind of you know, reduces that, that fluctuation, but it's all about the income. And I think it, for your return issue, I think if I look at the, the, the more dire pricing or yields get, and I think I, this is my mantra, you always look at the income side. How leasable is your asset? How strong is your income? capacities out of, your, out of your buildings and out of your investments. And if you focus on that part of the, the business, your decisions to invest are usually relatively good. Now, if you, then again, it does make it difficult for German investors sitting in Germany uh, to invest where you see a pricing that you haven't seen in 20 years. It just, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to run your head through that wall and simply say, all right, you know, the new reality is 4.5% gross initial yield. It's a difficult one to do when you, you know, when 15 years ago you bought the same building for, you know, 6.5%. It's, it's extremely difficult and it's also a German mentality thing that it's difficult for us to, to go that extra step quicker forward, moving forward. Uh, and, and, and saying, look, even looking back next year is going to be a good deal. That's a more Anglo-Saxon approach than it, is, than it is a German approach. So I think at the moment, probably the international investors have an advantage over the German investors in these markets and the pension funds because are, we are very conservative uh, players and we, don't, we know our history and we know how we've been burnt in the past and we know that what we need to concentrate on and we don't have that many tricks in the bag um, simply to make those numbers look shiny and good and sensible. Um, but essentially, you need to look at your income, and how do we reduce? Well, we've got you know we do have a global platform to invest into, so we can look at and, and, and swap. We've got big vehicles of you know we've got two 10 billion euro funds. Uh, you can allocate some quite expensive stuff into those, you know, and mitigate the risk a little. Uh, but you can also capture some returns in, in other countries, like going into Australia and looking at, at, at some of the other markets as well. Uh, but essentially, look at the income, look at the long-term uh, playback, and Germany plays an essential role in that. Um, and don't simply don't do everything. Uh, that's, there's a limit to what you can do, and you mix it in sometimes. If the quality is good, then we'll probably bid top dollar, uh, quality and location. We're not going to go up the risk spectrum in location. We'll probably only do it in... Uh, looking at pricing in the top four locations. And, uh, and you've got to tell your investors, relax on your expectations.